Pandemonious was three. Is that how you spell that word? Okay. Hey, Coach, how are you? Anthony Price, CT, um, Hoops Magazine. Um, it looked like you guys got off to a, a slow start. Um, any thoughts on that and any concern um, going forward? Um, concern in, um, no, I don't have any concern. Um, I think the reason you play uh, exhibition games is to uh, kind of get out in public for the first time so you you expect your veteran players to play uh, like veterans, and you expect your young players to um, to be a little bit nervous in the beginning. So, all of our veterans played great. I thought she was. I thought Paige was fantastic. All the other veterans, they were lousy. They were on the bench. So I'm not concerned. Do you know what kind of jump have you seen from Ashlyn Shade freshman to sophomore year? If that jump you always look for that sophomore year. You know the 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 thing that that I like to you know I would like for her to to consistently be more um, more adventurous out there, try more things, and um, I thought she was more aggressive today defensively than I've seen her all last year. Um, I thought she put herself in the mix more than just waiting for, for her next shot. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, that year, last year pays off that she learned a little bit. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Gino, you know, what did you think of uh, Sarah today? Debut. She's a uh, right now kind of reluctant, wanting to be, you know, really good, real, real early. There's a lot that she hesitates on, passes up a lot of shots. I think, um, but I think you can see the plays that she makes. You know, she's a playmaker both for herself and and for other people, and um, so I, I think. Sometimes when you watch uh, freshmen play, you start to see tendencies, you know, and, and, and instincts, and she's got terrific instincts. And, and as each game goes, goes by, she'll be less hesitant. I, I believe that because that's what I've seen from her in the past. But, you know, there's no denying her talent and her ability to impact at, at both, both ends. You know, you've talked about how one of the biggest hurdles for this team will be what they look like without Paige on the floor. She played 27 and a half. What did you like and what did you not like when she was not on the floor? Um, that's the, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the dilemma we're going to have early on is when Paige is not on the floor, there's just, there's just not an experienced guard other than Caitlin. And Caitlin's a you know, uh, she's a she's a scoring point guard. You know, like she's aggressive with the ball and wants to. And I think as she learns how to be as much of a distributor as a scorer, that'll help when Paige is not on the floor. Um, and if Paige and Sarah are not both on the floor, then uh, it. It makes it difficult for them to kind of know who do we who do we rely on, so that's going to take some time. But at one point, I did say when they said get those two guys out, I said, are we uh, are we giving up on scoring for the rest of the game? And it turned out that no, we didn't. You know, it still looked still looked pretty good, not great, but pretty good. But Paige, you know. This is this is kind of what Paige wants to do, you know, exactly what she did today. That's how she wants to play. And I'm sure that that's something she's going to try to do every game if she can. You talked yesterday about Q trying to play her way into the rotation. What did you think of her today? She's been um, 
she's been doing more every day in practice than just, you know, last year she was very one-dimensional. You know, she would come in and, and every time she touched it, she'd shoot it and there wouldn't be other opportunities for her. And today she's creating opportunities for her, whether it's defensively, getting on the offensive boards, you know, uh, attacking the basket, you know. Um, the Q, Q adds a dimension that our other guards don't have, so she's incredibly valuable. We just have to find a way to, to, uh, to take advantage of her talents more often, and, and we're going to as much as I can anyway. Kind of a rocky day for Ice and Jana. We only saw a couple minutes of both of them, but what was kind of the, the good and the bad for those two today? <laughs> well, yeah, that was a real struggle for them. Um, it, it, um, it, 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 you, when you, I guess when you don't have somebody to match up with inside, like that looks like you, as big as you, plays like you, uh, it's not the easiest thing. You know, every day in practice, you know, they're playing against bigger guys, stronger guys, more physical guys, and and. You know, I think today the, the thing that concerned me the most about was uh, th that we have to be smarter about how we uh, how we manage our fouls. You know, like we just commit some silly ones, um, and obviously we can't afford that. Um, and I would like to see us be a bigger presence. You know, we took uh, what ha almost half of our shots were were threes, which it's neither here nor there. I, w I would like for it to be a little bit less. I'd like to see us get more touches in the lane, um, get to the free throw line more. Um, so those two would, would go a long way to helping us do that for sure. Um. Do you know if I can follow on Ashlyn? Because of the injuries last year, she got a lot more experience than a normal freshman would here or, or any freshman has gotten here. What do you think she's taken from the good that she did, which was a lot, and you know, she did struggle at the end of the last couple of games of the NCAA tournament. What does she take from those to help her improve this year? Well, hopefully uh, all the experience helps her um, understand that you have to, you do have to keep a, an even temperament out there. You, you, you. You do want to play well. You do want to shoot the ball well. You do want to have success. Um, and she builds on her successes pretty well. I like to see uh, her continue to shake off, you know, a bad play here, a bad shot here, or, you know, something, and not, you know, not hang not hang on to it too long. Um, The amount of minutes will be less, I hope, you know, once we get everybody. So by having less minutes, maybe that makes her a little more effective towards the end. Um, being a sophomore, you know, you don't have that, I don't know what's ahead of me. You do know what's ahead of you now. Um, so, you know, obviously Ash has a big role for us, you know, what that is. You know that'll be that that'll sort itself out. Uh, Gino, first of all, with with KK, just sitting her down out of uh, abundance of caution, just to make sure she feels a little better. Yeah, yeah, she's been in a, you know, she's been in practice enough times now to feel like ready to go, and I think after two more days, Tuesday and Wednesday, um, you know, I, I would I would I would think she would be. 100% ready to go. And then did you see enough positive out of today just to feel comfortable about starting the season on Thursday? I mean, even if it's just Caitlin and Paige, you know, being that solid foundation to build on or Ash playing well? Yeah, you do have to have something that is a, is a constant, you know. Um, when, when you have a young team like we do, you have to have some stability somewhere to um, to help carry the rest of the group, and I do think Paige is that. I do think Caitlin is that. Um, 
you know, so knowing that those two uh, have played enough basketball and have been in a lot of different scenarios um, can can help those younger guys. Um, you know, obviously it's it's going to be it's going to be difficult in the beginning because we um, we're going to rely so much on those young guys for so many things, but um, it's it's. It's, it's similar to what we've experienced in the past. Um, and it, it takes a little bit of time. But, you know, Paige can, Paige can do a lot to help, um, you know, help fix that whenever it goes sideways. Especially, you know, in the frame, of, the frame of mind that she's in right now, the way she has been in practice all year, all, you know, all preseason. You often like your players to find a way to impact the game and not necessarily view their performance solely on their scoring. Is that something that Sarah has seemed to already figure out as a freshman with the rebounds and, and the, the passing that she has? Yeah, that's the thing that really um, wins you over when you watch her play in high school a lot of times. Uh, she was playing with a, a team of teammates that needed her to be everything, right? Um, which means that uh, you had to be the best passer on the team because they needed your help to get shots. You had to score enough to take the load off of their, their scoring. You had to defend a lot of different positions to help them. Um, uh, I thought watching, you know, watching Sarah play all the, all the, the amount of times that I watched in high school. Yeah, her ability to, to win games and to impact games, that, that's what made me think that she could be that right away because she did it and she did it. Uh, at, at every level that she played at, whether it was high school team, travel team, USA basketball, she just has um, a way that it's hard to hard to coach. Hard, I mean, hard to teach. You have to come with those things that she has. She's a lot better shooter than she showed today, which I think gives us some great matchups. You know, when we go into some of the other games. Um, you know, that's a dimension we haven't had. You know, you know, you saw the last play of the half, I think it was. You know, Paige and, and, and Sarah in that two-man game. We're going to get an open shot no matter what with those two. Um, that's good comfort. Good to know. On Paige and Sarah, we saw Paige hit that behind the back. No look to her. I mean, just how has the chemistry between them developed over the course of the preseason? It was interesting uh, watching the two of them because chemistry usually occurs between players that have similar traits, similar characteristics, right? So you can develop chemistry, if you're a really creative playmaker like Paige is, you can develop chemistry with another one very quickly who also has that. If you can see the game a certain way, the way Paige does, you can develop chemistry with someone who also sees the game that way. Um, when, you're, when, you're, um, when you're together for a little bit of time, you start to almost uh, anticipate what the other person's thinking or what they're going to do because you think alike and that, that's what I would do in that situation. So that's where chemistry comes from. You know, it, it doesn't come from these people have personality conflicts and uh, that almost never matters. It's do their skills mesh and, and the two of them, their skills mesh perfectly. You know, I know um, <clears throat> it seems like a long, long time ago, but it was really only a few years, two, three years, when there was so much anticipation of Paige and AZ playing together. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're close friends. They had played together before. Uh, do you, I mean, I guess they're getting closer to, for AZ to, to get out there. Are you still thinking about what that's going to look like and that what that can be like, even though they're, they're much different than they were when they were you know, yeah. three years younger? Yeah, I, I've, almost, um, I've almost forgotten what that could look like or should look like or have an imagination of, wow, you know, I, I've seen them at their best together and I'm anxious to see that again. It's really uh, an unknown at this point. Uh, I can only go by some of the things that I've seen in practice. Um, I do know that having a much more aggressive AZ uh, would really help that combination work. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the great great expectations that exist in our program right now among um, our coaching staff, our players, I'm sure our fans, um, because we can, we can imagine what it could look like, but we're not quite sure. Um, but I would like to think that um, as that happens more often, it'll only get better, I would assume. Um, I made a comment the other day that KK played 36 games last year. AZ's played 47 total in her career here. Uh, so when you think of it in those terms, it's she she has a lot of catching up to do. And this was said about the possibility of the summer. Uh, do you think they still think about it? I know Paige doesn't like to jinx it, if you ask her, but do you think they still think about that like they did at the, in the past? I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a big, I'm sure there's a big part of that. Um, I'm sure. I think um, um, we've we've seen a lot of one or the other, but we've only seen a glimpse of um, that combination together. Um, the, the maybe maybe expecting it to be, uh, you know, super. Supernatural or super worldly is maybe a little bit too much too soon, but I do think that um, um, having having someone like Paige at her best, at her most, wanting to get a bucket every time down, as you saw today, opens up a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. Watching AZ in practice, she's more than stand there, wait for the ball, and, and be the best shooter in the country like everybody thinks she is. So I, 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 I'm anxious to see what that looks like. Um, I'm, I'm sure they've had many talks about it, uh, and I'm sure they had a lot of talks about it before, and it always fell apart. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and we get to see it. Okie dokie.